in this class we are doing the first eight base units the first base unit that we are doing is velocity velocity is basically a vector quantity its unit is meter per second and its base unit is also meter per second. So the unit of velocity is meter per second and the base unit is also meter per second. Now the next quantity that we have to cover is acceleration. The second quantity is acceleration. Acceleration is also a vector. Acceleration. Acceleration is a vector. Its unit is meter per second square. And its base unit is also meter per second square. So unit of acceleration is meter per second square and base unit is also meter per second square. This is the second quantity, acceleration. Third quantity is number three, it is force. Force is also a vector. Its unit is Newton. Now let's convert Newton into base units. We need a formula for any conversion of base units. Force can be written as mass times acceleration. Mass is kilogram and acceleration is meter per second sphere. So it will become kilogram meter second minus two. So base unit of force is kilogram meter second minus two. This is the third quantity that we have to complete. Quantity number four is pressure. We have write base units of pressure. Pressure is treated as It is a scalar. Pressure is a scalar and unit of pressure is Newton per meter square or Pascal. And base unit of pressure, we can find base unit of pressure if we have some formula for pressure. Generally pressure is force over area or sometimes it is rho GH in different cases. So if we write pressure is force over area then unit of pressure will become Newton over meter square. So unit is Newton per meter square and base unit of pressure can be written as base unit of pressure could be written as P is equal to F over A that could be MA over A, that could be kilogram meter second minus two over meter square. So the final form of base unit of pressure is kilogram meter power one minus two and meter power, we can write it as meter power one meter power minus two and second power minus two. So it would become kilogram meter power minus one and second power minus two. So pressure base unit is kilogram meter power minus one and second power minus two. So this is unit of pressure. 
unit for pressure is Pascal. And base unit is kilogram meter minus one and second minus two. So this is pressure. The fifth base unit that we studied is momentum. Momentum physically is the damaging capability and of an object, how much damage an object can cause, it is called momentum. And this could be written as, this could be written as, momentum is the damaging capability of an object and we can write it as, Momentum is basically, you know, heavier objects moving faster will damage, will cause more damage. So momentum can be written as momentum is the product of mass and velocity. This is the exam definition of momentum. Basically, momentum is the measure of the amount of damage that an object has a potential to cause. So momentum is the product of the mass of the object and the velocity of the object. The concept here could be from physical life, a heavier object will cause more damage out of a truck or a bike coming towards you, the, you know that the truck could cause more damage. So you'll stand in front of bike, but not in front of a truck. If you, if, you, if you have no option and you have to stand in front of any one of them. And uh, out of a bullet and a tennis ball, a bullet causes more damage because of its speed. So it is the mass and the speed with direction or velocity which determine the amount of damage an object could cause or this is called momentum. So momentum is a product of mass and velocity. Unit of momentum will be kilogram and for velocity it would be meter per second. So the overall unit of momentum will be kilogram meter second minus one. Now the next 20 after momentum that we have to understand is impulse. Impulse is basically when a force is multiplied for a very short duration then the product of force and time is called impulse. It's, it's basically a push or a push of very short duration. So impulse is actually product of force and the time for which that force was applied. So unit of impulse from here we can see that unit of impulse will be Newton second. Base unit of impulse will be base unit of impulse would be F times T F is MA into T. So if no, if, if we substitute the units, it would become kilogram meter per second square into second. So finally, it would become kilogram meter second power one, second power minus two. Kilogram meter second power minus one. It is same as the base unit of momentum. The reason being, actually the impulse is numerically equal to the change of momentum. That's why the impulse and momentum have same units. 
so change of a quantity and a quantity itself will always have same uh, base units so you can say that impulse impulse says same base units as impulse has same base units as momentum impulse has same base units as momentum as is impulse is actually change of momentum and impulse is a vector quantity change of a vector is always vector and a quantity and its change have same base units number 7 that we have to cover is work no work is a scalar unit of work that we find is joule and base unit of work will be work is equal to force into distance m a into distance that would become kilogram meter second minus 2 into meter this could be written as kilogram meter square second minus 2 this is base unit of work number 8 after work we have base unit of energies and here we need to clear one thing all the forms of energies have same base units as work all forms of energies all forms of energies they have same base units as work for example if they ask you potential energy it is also a scalar its unit is joule its base unit is same as work kilogram meter square second minus 2 you can also prove the same result using pe is equal to mgh as unit of m is kilogram unit of g is meter per second square and unit of h is meter so we can also calculate this same result using the formula for potential energy so these are the eight quantities we were supposed to cover in this slide the remaining quantities will be covered in next two slides the second and third slides slides okay students take care for the office